Next is temporary closure. What is the effect of temporary closure? To answer that, determine whether the closure was done in good faith or in bad faith. If the closure was done in good faith, the employment status is not terminated but merely suspended. Once the operations are resumed, the employer-employee relationship is restored and the employer is bound to reinstate the employee to his former position, provided that the employee indicates his desire to resume work not later than one month from resumption of operation. On the other hand, if the closure was done in bad faith, the employment relationship will be deemed uninterrupted, not suspended, but uninterrupted. Now, how long can an employer temporarily close its business? Well, the answer is, whether done in good faith or in bad faith, temporary closure should not exceed six months. If the six-month period lapses, permanent closure will ensue and employer-employer relationship will automatically terminate. Now, can the six-month temporary closure be extended? Well, in case of declaration of war, pandemic, and similar emergencies, the employer and the employees can agree in good faith to extend the temporary closure for a period not exceeding six months. If the employees find alternative employment during the extended temporary closure, their employment status remains suspended, except when they unequivocally and voluntarily resign in writing. If the employer decides to reduce its personnel during or after the extended temporary closure, the affected employee shall be entitled to separation pay. Now, in the computation of separation pay, the first six months of temporary closure shall be included. So what would be the entitlement of employees if permanent closure ensues? Now, to answer that, again, determine whether the closure was done in good faith or in bad faith. If the closure was done in good faith, the employees would be entitled to separation pay of at least one month pay or one half month pay for every year of service, whichever is higher, unless the closure was due to serious business losses, in which case the employees are not entitled to separation pay. Now, on the other hand, if the closure was done in bad faith, the employees will be entitled to their wages during the six-month period of closure plus separation pay of at least one month pay or one half month pay for every year of service, whichever is higher. Notwithstanding the bad faith, the employer cannot be compelled to continue its business.